Koji Sato is uh, the CEO of Toyota and his plan to catch up with the EV transition is actually taking some shape. Toyota was against EVs in first place. They were saying that EVs will be a very small portion from the overall market uh, in the world. And they believe till 2030, uh, barely 5 to 10% of all vehicles will be electric. We can now see that the response of that from uh, US, uh, especially Tesla, and of course China is, is saying a different bull game. So Toyota is losing market in China and they need to change their strategy. So Koji Sato is actually uh, on it. Toyota has been literally left in the dust from the performance of the new vehicle manufacturers. And of course, Toyota will have to do something. So Koji Sato has a great idea. Initially, he wanted to create uh, hydrogen vehicles and uh, engines, but apparently this technology is still uh, further into the future. Uh, storage of the hydrogen is very dangerous, it's flammable, it's more complicated to be uh, transferred to a storage units or petrol station, hydrogen station. And then of course from that point onwards the uh, amount of hydrogen that cars need is a lot higher and also what happens is the hydrogen is actually not a source of energy is more likely like a storage uh, of energy uh, solution. So basically, um, electricity still needs to be produced. It divides the water to hydrogen, and then later on through a chemical reaction, there is uh, energy that is being released, and the byproduct is water. So hydrogen becomes back to water and the kind of water engine i can call it is a dream um, but it, is it worth it so far so not that much just because the energy consumption is too high it's too complicated so toyota and koji sato had to do something different so what is their plan let's have a look into previous numbers and let's see how things are going till today's day Welcome, my friends. You are watching the Better Future Project, where we are all about sharing positivity, knowledge, and having a good time together. In 2022, Toyota has unveiled results from the profitability of their vehicles and the profitability of EV vehicles from Tesla. And the results were really shocking. So shocking that, in fact, Tesla had made nearly 10 times more profit per vehicle sold. Of course, Toyota has this mass amount of vehicles that they are currently saying, just over 10 million vehicles a year, while, while Tesla is still a, a small, tiny player with about 2 million of vehicles a year this year. So in 2022, it was even way worse. And what happened now is Toyota seems to be planning ahead on how to tackle this, because if the uh, narrative continues, Toyota will lose market and they will go bankrupt. Koji Sato's idea is to have a buffet of cars, if I can put it that way. He wants people to have a lot of choice and he wants to do the same thing with electric vehicles. He would like to produce different models, different types, uh, different range, but this literally creates more challenges in terms of logistic, production, manufacturing, the, the complex systems that needs to be uh, involved into electric vehicles uh, and the, the, the variety of it will just complicate and slow down the process of building these vehicles. Well, Tesla strategy is very simple. One car per category, one killer per category. And it seems that Tesla is actually winning the game. You don't need like 50 different models for a uh, sedan. You just need one really, really good, safe, clean, greener vehicle that is uh, has capabilities to protect you from eventual car crashes, incidents, accidents. And of course, it is, it is a smart vehicle, so it can learn while you drive and also provide you with the comfort and safetyness of the best vehicles out there on the market. So you don't need 30 different model vehicles that don't, don't offer 
any of these features like Tesla does. So what Toyota did? Well, Toyota planned to reach a carbon neutrality in 2050. Toyota wants to reach a carbon neutrality in 2050. Now, 2050 is so far, uh, so far ahead that it, it will be difficult for me or for any other um, person to say, oh, wow, uh, Toyota plans to have a hydrogen vehicles or electric vehicles, uh, and this will be 100% of their core business till 2050. This is just simply too late. And if Toyota don't step up, it will be actually so late that Toyota won't be around. 2030 is the year. This should be the target. Anything before 2030 is a good target, even better than 2030 itself. Toyota then decided to have this big renovation and actually start producing hybrid uh, vehicles. And then what happened is recently we had a article uh, and of course on the news, uh, Toyota seems to be cheating on to the emission, uh, emissions uh, results again. I don't know why they're doing it. I think they're just trying to cut expenses because if the vehicles are polluting the air, Toyota will have to buy more credits from electric vehicle manufacturers. And of course, that means less profits for Toyota itself. And I think in the attempt to try to um, kind of save money and, co and, and cost because Toyota is in debt company, they have huge debt. They're trying to do anything and everything to get away with uh, paying less. Now, they have been caught. Uh, Europe Union has also tested their vehicles. And a new legislation is actually coming into Europe from 1st of uh, January 2025, where hybrid vehicles will not be any more as popular as they are today. Not that they are very popular. It seems that hybrid vehicles is exactly that, it's hybrid. Hybrid is a more complex system of using vehicles to uh, transport, commute, uh, and of course, uh, in general, having these two systems in one car is not needed. Now, um, Toyota is not the only one who believes that this is the path forward. And I believe that this is because of the Chinese EV makers and Tesla, of course. They're so far ahead, they're so advanced. Anything from logistic perspective to IT perspective to manufacturing perspective, that uh, old legacy uh, automakers like Toyota, GM and Ford just simply cannot compete with that. They don't have the uh, staff, they don't have the ethos, they don't have the uh, work ethic. It's just difficult to say that these people have ex ex enough experience and expertise to produce, regardless of how uh, resourceful those companies have been into the past. It seems that they cannot simply make a very good, compelling, green electric vehicles that are profitable. Period. So what they are trying to do, Koji Sato turned around and said, we're going to create a lot of hybrids. People will love hybrids. It will give them peace of mind of traveling into a long distance uh, so they don't run out of electricity. But even this has been addressed today because we can see that uh, Tesla is building massive amount of fast chargers across the world, not just in America, uh, also in Europe. And we can see that other companies are stepping in, including big tech giants like Google. Google is currently backing a company that is going to build uh, charges onto a uh, different place across the world. And they actually want to be bigger than what Tesla is currently, uh, currently um, being in terms of number of electric chargers. But that's not the end. The technology continues to improve. So the range of the vehicles is getting higher and they can pass longer distances. And of course, let's not forget that the batteries themselves are charging faster. So there is new technology that is getting into them too. And, and of course, there are also even newer technologies that are coming and is part of something so-called uh, street wireless charging. Uh, in Swiss, in, in Swiss, I believe, uh, and of course other places soon, um, there will be streets where you can drive your electric vehicle. And if your electric vehicle has the hardware, it will be able to charge or more likely recharge while you drive. This means that you might not um, ever need to go and charge your vehicle uh, anywhere just because you'll be just driving and the vehicles will be charged. Which means this range thing, the range anxiety that people are still talking about is currently being solved. It's not even that it's going to be solved someday. 
it's already being solved and now in it's just matter of time until more charges comes around until uh, houses are now being built with charges directly for electric vehicles and that will simplify the whole process these hybrid vehicles that toyota is currently creating and not only toyota koji sato is not the only one who is uh after this technology but mary barra is as well uh of course ford is as well uh, Jim Farley is saying that hybrids are also going to be viable options for people. And of course, the variety is good to be out there. But I think that loyal customers of these brands will go for hybrids just because they are loyal customers. But any customer that do their homework will just choose fully electric vehicles. Electricity it has a stable price. It has cheaper options during the nights in some places. And of course, you can actually uh, self-produce electricity through solar panels, wind stations, you name it. Which means the, um, the source of fuel for electric vehicles is just going to be um, free or the price for it will be nearly zero. I think the devoted companies like uh, Toyota are going to end up with some sort of electric vehicles that are very affordable. I'm sure that they are going to be coming with them onto the market. And I'm sure that loyal customers will buy those fully electric vehicles. I hope Toyota and Koji Sato actually have success because if there is more competition out there, we're going to see uh, vehicles that are a lot more affordable for masses. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you into the next one.